hello guys welcome back to another video so in the previous video we looked at how to open a trade fully automated now in this video we're going to look at how to modify a trade so um i still left this comment here so you can still see the parameters the buy and the sell functions take in we've done the same thing which is to include the file and then we got access to the C class, uh, trading class, uh, uh, which is called C trade. And then we created an object from that class, which we named trader. And then I also created a ulong, which is um, going to store the, the, the tickets. Like if you, if you can have a look here, let's just have a look. Okay, trade is open. So as you can see, each trade has a ticket. So let me just take this out. So now take this expert advisor out. So every every trade has a ticket, right? So now that day is going to store our ticket. I'm just going to close this trade as well. It's going to it's going to store our ticket. So that's what this is for. Now, if we look at this um this code right here, this is just a simple buy or sell condition so in this case i've uh, i put there that whenever the the ask price or the, yeah the symbols ask price is greater than 0, 0 0.0 then the buy trade should be open else if the 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 bid price is greater than 0, 0 0.0 a sell trade should be open but now we can just do it in a certain way so we can just actually do it better let me just use the m5 or m1 and then we look for price, a place where price can touch faster. So in this case, I'll put it here at the bottom of this candle. So we're going to say if price touches 141129, we must sell 141129. So 141129. So let me just double check 141129. Then if it touches, one for one one eight seven one for one one eight seven one for one one eight seven so if this happens we should get a a buy uh, a buy and then if this happens we should get a sell so as you can see if price touches this or that we should get a buy or sell so let me just attach this first let me run this so we can see there's no errors yes there's nothing now let me just attach this before price touches. So that's how we're going to get our buy or sell. <laughs> so you can see price actually touched it just immediately, just as we um, attach the EA, the price immediately touched it. As you can see, the price, um, the trade has been opened. Now let's go further in. So I just wanted to show you an example of, you know, this is just a lame condition of how to open a trade. But if you actually have a proper strategy, you can do it better. Now, our trade has been opened. Now, we're going to look at the modification of the trade. Now, for us to modify the trade, we need to get access to properties um, uh, concerning the trade. What do I mean? We need to get access to the ticket. We need to get access to the price the trade has opened at. We, need, we also need to get access to the stop loss level and the take profit level. You see so that is basically what i've done here so now position select by ticket is a function that takes in a specified ticket so whatever position we opened we gave the ticket to this here to this variable the ticket number so now we are going to again select a specified basically the same position we're going to select that ticket and then using that ticket we're going to get the information which is here it says position get double position price open which is basically the price the trade was opened at then we're also get, going to get access to position sl which is the stop loss of the current position so now in our case here our stop loss is zero basically our stop loss is zero then again we're going to get access to our position tp which is the current positions take profit it is also zero why because we don't have a specified take profit now Another thing we have to do is to check what type of position it is, whether it's a buy position or it's a sell position. In our case right now, we have a 
is that we have a sell position. So this is a sell position. So we need to know whether it's a sell position or a buyer position so that we can be able to modify our trade accurately. Now, so when we get this info, there's something else I would love to add just here. So now after modifying, this is just the basic skeleton, right? After modifying, uh, getting these bits of information in, we also need to add in um, another bit of information. Let me just do this because now I am, okay. So let me just do this. So this is the code I wanted us to add in, but now it has changed this. So I'm just going to correct this again. So our symbol bid for the cell, we wanted a cell position to open when we touched 141129. Okay, so in this case, I'm not going to use the same, the same levels. So I'll just change the levels. I'll just change the levels. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, so this is a losing trade. Let me just close it. Okay, let's just get back to the thingy. I'll just come back to the conditions for opening the trade. So let's first return here and see. This is the most important part now where the modification will take place properly. So since we now got access to the trade, um, basically the, the information of the specified trade, since we've collected information about that trade, and all its properties, we can now use that information to either put a stop loss or take profit or even both. So as you can see, this is the part now. So remember here, we had to get the position type and we gave it to this um, variable and mind you, it's of type long. Now we, we are saying if the position type is buy, so for you to know if it is a buy, you use position type buy. As you can see, it's in red. So if the position type is a buy, that's when now uh, we're going to modify. So basically, if the position uh, buy is, the position type is buy, we're going to modify in here now. Now we have another if statement that checks if the stop loss is zero. Then if the stop loss is zero, we're going to now use this and equate it to the position price. Remember, we're going to modify according to the position price. What does that mean? So let me just do this. So basically, let's say for here, in this case right here, this is the position uh, price. We can modify it. Maybe let's say, um, let me see how many points is this? 72 points above. And let's just say till here. And 360 points below. So basically, we're going to take this price and add 76, 72 points, which is going to give us the stop loss here. And then we're going to take the same price and add 360 points, which is going to give us this take profit level. Now, this is for, oh, this is for a, a buy. I actually swapped them around. So basically, it's supposed to be like this, like this, and maybe something like this. Now, it's vice versa. So how many points is this? Now for a buy trade, we're going to take the price and minus 117 points. That's for the stop loss. Then we're going to add what? 423 points. That's for the take profit. So that's basically the idea behind this. Now let's get back to it. So in this case, for a buy trade, we know that the stop loss will always be at the bottom of the positions price. So which is why we I'm going to minus 100 points. Then for the take profit, it, it's always above the buy, the open price of a buy trade. So we're going to add what? 400 points. Then we're going to, this is the name of the object. Remember when we started, the object we created is trader. So now we're going to use that, that object and then we get access to the position modify. This will allow us to modify the position. Then it takes in the verb, uh, the parameters, which is the position ticket, the ticket of the position. And then we take in the 
SL, which is the new stop loss that we've just gotten from the uh, calculation. It also takes in the take profit. So it is going to take this ticket here and modify using the stop loss and the take profit we've created within the code. So the same goes for the uh, buy and sell. The only difference is that it swapped, the signs are swapped. Because for the sell, when you sell on top here, the, uh, the stop loss is now on top, so you just add, then the take profit is now below, so you minus, you see. So that is basically the explanation for this. So now we're going to look for a criteria for when our trade must open. So let me uh, get back to this and let's first remove this. And then I'll close this. I'll also go to the journal and um, clear so we can get a proper viewing, right? So now let's look for a price level. It goes to the M5. So I want to open a cell when price goes below 141124. 141124. 141124. So we want a sell trade to open. Then for a buy trade, I'm just copying and pasting to make things easier for me. So for a buy trade, we want a buy trade to open when price reaches. Um, I like this week. Yeah. 141226. 141226. 141226. So that is it. Now let's just F7 this to see and make sure there's no errors. There's no errors. Now we can go ahead and attach our EA. Let's see. We just have to now wait for price to either hit this level or that level. So once price hits those levels, we should get a sell trade when it hits this one or a buy trade if it hits that one. Let's just wait and see. Let's just wait and see. Then if we go to our journal, it will say that the expert open a trade, which is the name of my expert advisor. You can see it's called open a trade, was loaded successfully. Now we just have to see if it is going to open and also show us that it modified the trade. That is the only thing we're going to have to wait for now. Let's just wait and see if it actually modified, if, if it will actually modify the trade. And guys, if you want to get more understanding about these things, yeah, you can always use your MQL5 reference. See, like here we have the position SL, which is the stop loss level of the open position. Like I said, even this one, TP, it is the take profit of the opened position. Then position price open, which is the price of the open position, basically. And then, yeah. Position price current is the current price of the position open. So guys, please, these things are available to you and you can definitely use them because they'll explain a whole lot more. You know, they'll make uh, life easier. So in this instance, let's just get back to the charts to see if we're going to get any, any proper movement. Now, I'm just waiting for the chart, guys. We're just waiting for the chart. Let's just wait and see. Okay, price is approaching to open a buy trade. Ah, there we go. After some time of waiting, <laughs> the buy trade has been triggered and opened, basically. So, price touched this uh, zone, that price there, and we got our buy trade open. Now, let's just see the journal to see what happened. So we successfully loaded the expert advisor then the trade market buy it was accepted then the deal was done the buy trade was opened now if you look here it says modify in this case it was modified from 
zero 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 stop loss and zero 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 TP to the new SL and the new TP. So do you see? Now it accepted the modification and modified the trade. So yes, guys, I hope this video was helpful. This is just a simple way of modifying your trades. So now when the stop loss is hit, the trade will prob probably close and a new one, uh, a new trade will get ready to be opened if again price keeps on touching between these zones. So yes, guys, that is it for this video. In the next video, we are going to look at how to close a trade. Yes, thank you guys. Don't forget to share, comment and like for more. Thank you.